welcome back to Cravings Food Adventures. To beat this crazy heat we're having in Toronto, I'm going to be making these mason jar faludas. Faluda is an incredible drink that's made so many different ways. It's used to cool you down. It's made with a combination of milk and vermicelli, nuts and ice cream. I'm going to be making these mason jar faludas, or as per the name, in a mason jar. And it's going to be incredible because you can make it ahead and you can put the lid on it and store it in your fridge. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. I'm going to start soaking some basil seeds in room temperature water. These are similar to chia seeds and they plump up within minutes of soaking. They look really similar to black sesame seeds, so do label them as I've made the mistake of soaking the wrong thing myself. After 10 to 15 minutes, you'll see a drastic color change as the seeds get encased in a white bubble. You will also need to soak some faluda noodles. If you can't find faluda noodles, you can also use rice or even cornstarch noodles. After soaking, I'm going to quickly cook these for a few minutes. If you wanted to color the noodles, this is a good time to do so. Using a scissor, I also like to cut these noodles so they are easier to eat. I'm going to drain and leave the noodles aside and add some milk to my pot and bring it to a slow boil. In this recipe, I'm not too fussed about giving you any exact measurements as it's going to vary based on your taste and the size of the glass or mason jar you plan to serve these in. In this recipe video, I'm showing you how to make these ahead. So I'm doing a few things differently and I will point them out in this video. Once the milk comes to a boil, add sugar to taste and saffron strands. This will give the milk a nice yellow color and saffron flavor. Now normally the milk would just be cooled and poured into a glass, but since I'm making a saffron based topped with rose milk, I want this milk to be thicker so it sits at the bottom of the glass and it won't mix with the rose milk that I'm going to add later. Add some cornstarch dissolved in water and keep stirring. This will thicken the milk. Allow this to cool. I pre-made some jelly using half the water required according to the package instructions. This way it's going to stay nice and firm when I cut it into beautiful cubes. I'm going to cut these and keep them aside. Next, I'm going to pour in roughly three times the amount of milk I used before. I'm going to add sugar to taste and I'm going to heat it. I'm also going to add some roux afsa or rose syrup. You're going to add as much as you need as per your preference. You can find roux afsa at Indian stores or even Middle Eastern stores. Turn the heat off and allow this to cool. Once the milk has cooled, it's time to assemble. Traditionally, this is served in a glass, but using a mason jar means I can prep these ahead and I can just add the ice cream and finishing touches at the last minute. The order is as per your preference, but here's how I like to make it. Start with jello cubes. And cover these with the saffron milk. This is now thick and almost like a custard. I like to stick these in the fridge for about 15 minutes, just so the milk has a chance to thicken.
add the faluda noodles on top. And I'm going to top it up with the rose milk. On top of the rose milk, I'm going to add a generous tablespoon of basil seeds. And I'm going to top this with ice cream. To garnish, I'm also going to add some slivered nuts. I've got almonds and pistachios. And I'm going to add a drizzle of that beautiful rose syrup. For decoration, I'm also using some edible rose petals. Enjoy this right away or you can make these ahead, store it in your fridge and enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for mason jar faludas. I also like to make it in a little mini size to serve at parties. Make sure you subscribe to my channel guys and don't forget share my channel as well as my videos with your family and friends so they can also enjoy all of these incredible videos. And I love hearing from you. So leave me a comment either on YouTube or on any of my social media channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Until I see you next time, do take care. Bye.